into this video we're featuring Chris 1964 Ford F100 custom cab long bed it's a beautiful two-ton truck white wall tires there's a beautiful history behind it so I hope you enjoyed this video if you do let us know with a big like and if it is your first time passing by the channel go ahead and subscribe let's go my name is Christopher Caffey this is my 1964 custom crew cab As you see, it has a candy uh, flake on, uh, with a silver actually, uh, base on it with the candy on top. Then you come up with the flow of the black, glossy black on it. Then you come back over here to the wheels. You got the custom, uh, custom chrome wheels with a custom white walls on it. Coming across the bed over here, you see the custom cab, you see those custom lines on it. It's what makes the truck what it is, uh, F100. We got this uh, custom cover that you won't be able to get because it's custom and made just for this one truck. Just because of the size, you won't be able to get it unless you call the company to make it just for you. Come over here, you got you see the exhaust coming out. Usually you see a custom bumper sticking out over here. We went with a, we went with the roll pan with the bumper sticking out. As you see, you still see all the glossy candy uh, paint on it. It's bright in the sun. As soon as you see in the sun, it shines right at you. As you see, it doesn't have too much chrome on it, but it does have its little chrome where it makes it pop out. If you come over here, we got no handles. That's, you know, not original, all custom, covered up. You also, if you look at it, you're supposed to have a gas cover. Ain't no gas cover on this thing. All custom, all plated out, just to make the truck look custom and what it is. As you see, truck lays out. All bottom, all air ride system, custom chassis from top to bottom. Ain't nothing original in this truck. Uh, as motor, we got 351 Cleveland. Uh, all original, all original motor, V8. Nothing crazy under the hood. Something you guys couldn't miss. When I got here, you were telling me about the story of how you found this truck. The truck wasn't built by me. The uh, truck actually was built around Ohio. I found the original builder when I bought this thing. Uh, this guy literally did everything. This wasn't a plan for him to actually, when he actually started building this truck, his plan was literally to do something simple and then ended up going crazy with it. Uh, truck ended up all the way in Buffalo, New York by the time he sold it about six, seven years ago. Uh, went all the way. Buffalo, New York, it was actually not planned. I was not planning, I just went for vacation. I was not planning on buying a F100 pickup truck, you know. Uh, get to my uh, Buffalo, New York with my little brother. Get there, little brother's like, oh, we're gonna go see a truck. I was like, a truck? I was like, yeah, all right, let's go look at a truck. Look at this F uh, F100 in uh, Buffalo, New York. Took it for a test drive, of course, fell in love with it. Uh, after that, get a phone call from wife. It's like, hey, you like it? I was like, yeah, why? Uh, you want it? Yeah, why? Uh, well, it's yours. I was like, what do you mean it's yours? It's yours. Happy Father's Day. I was like, wow. So pretty much the best present I ever got. Best thing, you know, always wanted one uh, F100. Was my dream truck. And here it is. That's how I got it. That's the story. Let's move into the interior, but before, show me how you open the door since it has no door handles. Okay, well, usually I use my poppers. Right now, the poppers are all disconnected because I'm rewiring the whole truck right now. But come over here, just pop it real quick, and it's open. As you see right here, we got this old school custom, uh, you know, lady, people might say naked lady, whatever you want to call it. 
But that's an old school trend from back in the days in the bombshells when they used to come with the hubcaps like that. If you know back in your days, you know your history on bombshells, that's one thing you see on your hubcaps and that's how it came to modern. Everybody started putting it on their vehicles as door handles, uh, trays to open up uh, or their center consoles. It was a look back in the days, back when bombshells were, you know, a thing, low rider theme, all that stuff. If you go look into the truck more, it has a hot rod, low rider look to it. Then you come in, you know, makes it fit, you know, the style over here. You got the flake all over the dash. Then you go into the seat, you see more flakes right there in the middle of the seat with the trim all going all over around it. And of course the chrome to just make it pop out a little more. Then you got that custom, uh, custom shifter, you know, that makes it people think, oh, it's a, it's a, you know, stick shift. It's actually not stick, it's actually uh, automatic. As you see over there, I kept it, you know, they kept the old school, the old school steering wheel, you know, kept it nice and clean, simple, nothing going crazy, you know. Tell me a little bit about the air ride suspension that you have in it. Okay, on air ride suspension, things, this thing has an old school setup. Uh, as you see, switches are right there. Then you got the little clocks and mark up how many uh, PSIs you got on every bag, so you know you're riding low or high. You come over here to the hood, you see the air, old school air ride setup it has that it came with. Nobody uses that system anymore. It's an old school setup that nobody wants to use anymore because it's just, there's way better other systems and way better advanced systems than, than, you know, that you can use nowadays. Okay, so this one you have to adjust it manually. Yes, I gotta adjust it manually. Uh, I gotta set up the PSIs all myself. It doesn't have, you know, all the fancy gadgets nowadays. You can go to your phone, air right up, air right down. No, that's how old school this setup was. This setup probably goes back 10, 15 years. Uh, when they first all this all first started, when people started using air ride to go up and down, their low riders, bombshells, you know, a way for the cops to, you know, not pull you over because you're riding too low. Come over here, pop it up, all manually, then just set it down. Beautiful. I know we talked about the wheel setup. Yes. What size do you have? That's the question that I usually get every time that I'm filming this type of videos. Well, usually on a car like this, I wouldn't go more than 20s. More than 20s. Because I, I, I'm a new generation, but I got an old school vibe to me. I like feeling that old school vibe. Back in the days, your 20s were not a thing on the old school bombshells. And usually if you had a low rider or a bomb, you will not put wire wheels on the old school wheel. You'll try to keep the old school look and still be have a low rider look to it. One thing that I love about these trucks is the lines on the fenders. Yes. Front and back, it makes the truck stand It out. makes what the truck is. It makes the style of the truck and what makes the truck original and custom and the old school vibe to it. You don't see this on the old school cars unless you put a white body kit, you know, or a flare that people call white body kits nowadays. Can we start the car just to hear how it sounds? For sure. Sounds good, really right? Nice. Yep. Straight pipe makes it. That's what makes it sound so good. <laughs> All right, Chris, brother, thank you so much for allowing us the opportunity to film that truck. No, uh, thank you for the opportunity to actually get a video for my truck. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Know? you. Well, stay tuned. Oh, for sure. Stay tuned because uh, the whole truck gonna get a whole remodeling. You won't even recognize the truck after it's done. And so. that's something that we're gonna bring you guys. So stay tuned. For sure, hey, and hit up your boy Generation Old Schools, man. He's doing a killer job just bringing these cars back to life and actually talking about it and telling you guys what's up with these vehicles, trying to bring them up, trying to keep them alive, trying to keep the old school culture alive too. Hey, see you guys. Thank you.